Yo, what's going on? I want to talk about the Frenchman, Joel Yaya from Gonzaga. He played there for four years, only played three years technically because he redshirted his freshman year. He's 21 years old, 6'5", 180 pounds from Bordeaux, France. Hopefully I said that correctly. He's a guy who averaged the past two years at almost one and a half steals and shot basically his whole college career 50, over 50% from the field. And this year he was a 39% three-point shooter. And he was a great three-point shooter. He made 40.5% of his jumpers off the catch with a 59.5 effective field goal percentage. And those were threes. And he makes a bunch of shots off the bounce, hitting 41.5% of his jumpers. Like, And this guy has a lot of upside also as a defender. I think he showed that he struggled as a freshman and sophomore, but then he really was able to develop his tools and showcase some real upside. Okay, By the end of the year, he can play tight on. He was showing he can play tight on ball handlers, cut off their angles at the drives, flips his hips well to cut off counter movements, and he uses his length to contest the ball well. He's got good balance closing out shooters and has good balance in his stance where he doesn't get blown away while also keeping his hands high to contest shots. And he's got good size, but his wingspan is only six foot seven. He's not an overly switchable defender because he lacks size and strength at 185 pounds. And he does struggle to defend on screens. Look, Ayaya is an interesting prospect because he has the possibility of becoming a very high level role player. Because of how well rounded his overall skill set is, he has the potential to be a plus on defense and someone who can be a shooter off the catch or shooter off, you know, off ball mo movement or the occasional secondary ball handler. Yes, he has a lot of work to do. And that's why I believe he should go in the second round. His route to being an NBA player is by becoming a terrific shooter and continuously improving his defense. And that is what will build him a nice base as a foundation where you could add other valuable things such as getting better at rebounding and maybe driving and other things. He's a solid defender already, but he has some real flaws and shows the ability of becoming a solid shooter where he just needs to show that he can take an uptick in volume. He's a good driver that doesn't have elite ball handling skills and needs something to hang his hat on early. Otherwise, he might get lost in the shovel. So that's it. Joel Ayo, guys. Comment down below. Like and subscribe.